Hi, I'm Hannah Canterbury. And I'm Kim Andrews. And we are second grade teachers at Center Grove Elementary, and we are going to talk to you about math fact fluency. Addition and subtraction fact fluency continues to be important as your child goes through second grade. Math fact fluency is the ability to recall answers to basic math facts automatically and without hesitation. Fact fluency is gained through significant practice, with mastery of basic math facts being a goal of both teachers and parents. This video is being created to give you resources that you can use at home to help your child become more fluent with their facts. So we're going to model a game for you first called tic-tac-toe sums to sums in a row. This game can be differentiated for different sums, but we are going to use sums to 20 as our example for today. This game is created for two players. You will need a tic-tac-toe game sheet, game markers in two different colors, and two paper clips. The first person to make four sums in a row horizontally, vertically, or diagonally wins the game. So the first player will place a paper clip on two add-ins of their choice that are located at the bottom of the game sheet, and then puts a marker on the corresponding sum on the tic-tac grid. So I've chosen 2 and 5 as my add-ins. I know that 2 and 5 together make a sum of 7, so I'll choose to put my yellow marker on the 7. The next player will move just one of the clips to another add-in. And I will move the clip to 6. Okay. Determine the sum of those two numbers. So 6 plus 2 is 8, so I will put my marker on 8. Perfect. So you play until one, t one player has gotten tic-tac-toe four in a row. You can shorten or lengthen this game by using three in a row or five in a row, depending on your child's needs. All right, and I am going to demonstrate a game called Going to Boston. This is a two or more player game. The only thing you need is three dice and a paper to keep track of your scores. So to begin, player one will roll all three dice, and they will choose the dice with the highest number of dots. So I've rolled two fours and a one, so I'll keep one of the fours. Then player one rolls again and chooses the higher number of the two. So I've rolled two ones, so I choose one of the ones. And then player one will roll their final die, and it is a three. Then player one will add up their total, record it on their sheet. Each player gets five turns, and the winner is the player with the highest total after five turns. We have included a link um, with more math fact fluency games that you can play with your child at home. Thank you for watching.